Greetings, the postman cometh, and he brought me my Natural Beauty Box subscription for December. Yes, December, and it's January, and I know that. Let me say there's a lot of drama surrounding the Natural Beauty Box these days. I like my drama in fiction. I like my drama when I go see a movie. I like my drama when I go to see a play. Other than that, I don't like drama. So I've pretty much been ignoring it. But I can tell you that people were very upset to be getting their December box in January. It didn't bother me because they threw in an extra mascara and I'd rather have the extra product. I don't know. They can be late every month and it won't bother me. I use these services to learn about new things rather than to acquire product. Plus, I just, um, I'm older. I do yoga. I'm zen. I don't do drama. So I just pretty much ignored the drama when I got an email about it or something. I went, eh, whatever. It'll work itself out. And I guess it has. I'm not sure. This is the box. All the goodies are inside. You can see mine has tape. That's because I ripped the heck out of it, taking it out of the packing box, the shipping box. But that is my problem, not theirs. I am like a bull in a china closet. I'm not gentle with wrapping. If I have a problem with the natural beauty box, it is something totally beyond their control. And that is that it's a service based in Canada. So for Canadians, it's wonderful. For us in the U.S., it's more difficult because if you then want to buy something from the natural beauty store, the shipping costs are prohibitive and becoming more prohibitive by the day because they've all gone up again, as you probably noticed if you do any back and forth between Canada and the U.S. Let me show you what is in the box. I'm going to start with the freebie, which is the mascara. This is from Delizioso, which is the company or indie group behind the natural beauty box that and Dr. Emerald who is their mother I believe. I looked at the ingredients it is 100% natural. I won't open this just yet because I only like to have one open mascara or at the most two because if you saw my project mascara pan a while back you will know that I was somebody who at one point had way too many mascaras open so I have reformed and right now I have one mascara or at the most two open at any moment. I feel like I should get some sort of metal for that. So let's see what else is in here. The first product is by Temptations Bath and Body and it is this little soy candle. Smell me soy candle and it does smell good. This is made with soy wax and so it is a vegan product it also has coconut oil. This is the sample size, which is one ounce. The full size is nine ounces and sells for $20. But I like this and I like the idea of these candles where you make it and then you make a little almost paraffin wax kind of treatment for your hands. You put your hands in the oil and it makes them nice and soft, makes your cuticles soft. So smells good and it's a treatment besides. The second product is seasonal and the season has passed. It's a little gingerbread man soap, and this is also by Temptations. Temptations, I think there was a little cupcake one time. They have lots of cute little soaps, and this is a little sample size of their gingerbread soap. It does have avocado butter, shea butter, coconut, olive oils, 100% natural kosher certified flavor oil, sea buckthorn extract, so powerful little guy. Okay, I just took him out of his wrapping. He is indeed a little gingerbread. He feels creamy, as you might expect from all those oils and butters, and he smells delicious. So I'm gonna put him in the soap dish and we'll use him up right away. The Totally Green Me team, which is the two sisters who run this natural beauty box, I think along with the mother who is uh, Dr. Emerald, often put these Delizioso products in. These are the products they make, and this is their cooling, Cucumber Facial Moisturizer, and I looked at it. It's good. It's preserved with something other than sodium benzoate or phenoxyethanol or parabens. Because it has cucumber and cucumber is hydrating, that will be a good one for me to use as a mixer for my vitamin C powder, which is really all I use a cream for these days is to mix in my vitamin C powder. I suppose I could mix that in as well with one of my oils, but I tend to like mixing it in with a cream then I use the balms over it. So it's another possibility for mixing in my sea powder. From their own line, that is the Delizioso, they also put in this watermelon and CoQ10 natural face polish. 
So this is a little light exfoliant. You can see it there. Their products usually have mild, mild uh, fragrances. I, I, you know, they're preserved well. I don't have any beef with them except for, you know, sometimes the shipping. So this is one that I will keep in my shower because that is when I take a shower sometimes and wash my face in there, I will use something that has some mild exfoliation like this, some gentle exfoliation. And their last natural beauty box, which would have been November, they included this sour cherry lip scrub, which I have adored. I love the smell of this. As a scrub, it doesn't work enough. I have to add just a little bit more sugar but it leaves this really nice oil on afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a full size of this. Yes, I can make my own lip scrub. However, they've done it really well. So I think I'll just get theirs. The next product is this by Original Purity. It is called the Raw Seeds Facial Jelly, G-E-L-E-E. -E. You're supposed to be able to use this on your skin twice a day. It has very basic ingredients. Let me read what those are. Aloe vera, which of course moisturizing, uh, Chardonnay grape seed oil, cranberry seed oil, cherry kernel oil, and vanilla extract. I'm not exactly sure what to do with this, except for that my guess is that this is a lot like the hydrating gel toners I'm using, the one by DeVita and the one by Living Nature that I just talked about in another video and so I will try this. I will alternate it one week and see how it works. Let me look at the cost on this. The full size cost is $18 for two ounces so that would be a cheaper option than either the DeVita or the Living Nature so yeah I'll give it a try. And another seasonal product for a season that has passed and that is this Kitty Cosmetics Natural Body Scrub. And I'm going to forgive them for having the cosmetics spelled with the K for kitty, kitty, and cosmetics. Don't know how I always feel about that. That's the English and teacher and me coming out. But this is a body scrub. Let me go ahead and read what is in this. Uh, cane sugar, so it is a sugar rather than a salt scrub, like that. Vegetable glycerin, olive fruit oil, avocado oil, rice bran oil, vitamin E, extracts of sea buckthorn, green tea, cucumber, camu camu, lemon, orange, lime, scent. It says depending on the flavor that you get. Doesn't smell too much like a candy cane, actually. It smells very vanilla-y. Very nice. The granules are really fine. So, another one. Put in my shower, see how I like. This one, though, is for the body, not for the face. A full size of that is 8 ounces, $32. So, in the shower it will go, and I will give it a shot. Next two products are from I Love Coffee. I do love coffee. I love the scent of coffee. I like the flavor of coffee. I'm not allowed to have caffeine, but I drink decaf coffee, and I just adore the smell of coffee. I like coffee products, and so... Here we have a hand cream. I'm going to hold off on the soap because I have too many open, so I will put that away for the moment. And probably I'll put the hand cream away, but I'm almost done with the Shea Terra sample, and then I can put this by my nightstand and use the I Love Coffee hand cream. From Dr. Emerald, which is, I believe, the mother. Last time I got this Golden Berries Natural Facial Cream, which I haven't had a chance to try yet. This was one that I didn't see the ingredients for for some reason last time but it is still in my try box. So that is one product I have. This is kind of interesting. This is another Golden Berries product. And this one, I can see everything that is in it. It is an anti-aging, extra moisturizing facial stick. So I think it is a balm. And you know I'm like really a major balm person. This is the full size. And so this is $40. Yikes, $40 in this little lip balmy looking stick but it is not a lip balm. This will be nice I suppose because oftentimes during the day when I start to get dry I use usually the Night's Balm or the Superfruits Eye Balm from 100% Pure, sometimes the Raven's Balm, the Me and the Girls Moom and I just kind of put it on the little wrinkly bits right over my foundation and it will just hydrate those places where I'm starting to get dry. Younger people, and maybe older people as well who have oily skin, I've never had oily skin so it's hard for me to understand, 
but I have friends who have oily skin and they blot all day long and they powder that T-zone. I do the exact opposite. I take these balms and I touch up with a balm. I used to do it with a moisturizer, but these balms work much, much better for the touch up there. The moisturizers will um, ball up or pill up like they would on a sweater and you end up with this kind of dead skinny stuff. So these balms don't. They go straight in there. They plump up the little wrinkles and make them happy again. This says to use it under eyes and problem area. And that's another place I have used it during the day if I start to see that old concealer caking up. I take things like this, this balm, right under the eye. So this one I can tuck away in my purse. It's a nice size. This one will get used really, really quickly, and I'll let you know how I like it. The last product is an all-natural shower gel by Wine Delights in the flavor, scent, something, pina colada. And I will open it. it. Smells good. And I'm not much for things like this, but my son is. And so this is definitely a product for my son. So that is it for my December natural beauty box which arrived in January, which I'm not hot under the collar about because I got a mascara out of it. I've enjoyed the Natural Beauty Box. I will continue to subscribe to it. I know some other people are having drama about it, and if you're interested, you can kind of read about that drama or not. But I will say I've enjoyed it. I've gotten good products from it. It is a place I will order from. They do have 25% off. There will be a few things I will be definitely, definitely picking up. My Natural Beauty Box subscription was one thing the postman brought. He saw me the other day and he said, you get more packages than anybody else on my route. I thought, hmm, don't know if that's a compliment. But in my defense, I will say I, I get a lot of itty bitty packages, not a lot of huge packages. They're not expensive packages. In fact, one of the projects I'm getting ready to, to do is to start a series on my beauty budget. And I will do my beauty budget for the month to show you how I make decisions about which products I'm going to buy and try and sample. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're up to. Bye.